Stay connected to your community and save. Just 99 cents a month gets you three months of unlimited access to Inform.com. Visit Inform.com slash subscribe and get your first three months of news for only 99 cents a month. As another Taco John's closes its doors, what am I supposed to do with my cravings and memories? Hi, this is Tracy Briggs and welcome to Back Then. Let me start by saying, I realize there are far more important goings on in Fargo-Moorhead at this current time. After an obnoxiously long winter, we're finally seeing some melting. And soon, that snow will be part of what is likely to be the floodwaters of the raging Red River. All the more important then, really, to keep things close to us that bring us joy and peace. For me, ladies and gentlemen, that means... A hard shell taco, a soft shell taco, potato olays, and a diet Mountain Dew. My go-to order at Taco John's. I bring this up this week because I was disheartened to learn from my colleague Helmut Schmidt, Mr. On-the-Spot Business Reporter, that yet another Taco John's in town was closing. The Taco John's at 318 10th Street North closed Friday night, April 7th. This follows the closing of a West Fargo Taco John's in the summer of 2021 and news in the last few months that two other Taco John's in Fargo are up for sale or available for lease. Fortunately, Fargo still has two Taco John's and the old standby Moorhead Taco John's still occupies that very same spot on Center Avenue where it's been since the Nixon administration. So we can still get our fix of six packs and a pound. We just have to work a little harder for them. And, of course, there are still many other fantastic taco places in town. Trust me, I've eaten at most of them. But there's just something about Taco John's. It's not just the taco meat with all the fixins. It's our history with all the fixins. Taco John's is listed among the oldest restaurants in Fargo-Moorhead. Moorhead's TJ's opened in 1971, with the North Fargo location now closing not far behind. I remember going there after high school football games and before sleepovers. It's been a popular after-bar stop since the 1970s. Of course, it helped that Moorhead's Taco John's is right next door to Mick's office, so bar goers could walk just a few steps for a couple of bites before heading home. Heck, it also wasn't that far from the old Trader and Trapper. Remember that place? On the upper floor, a classy at least we thought so establishment, where they'd bring you a small vat of cheese and a few crackers to munch on while sipping your Bartles and James wine cooler. The lower floor, a rockin' bar, where you'd hope to spot your college crush. I'm told in the 1970s, before my TNT days, that it was the closest thing Fargo had to a Saturday night fever disco, lighted floor and all. In fact, one friend of mine, now in her 60s, has vivid memories of boogieing to Rubber Band Man by the Spinners. But the memories of Taco John's extended far beyond my college days. There was nothing I craved more than Taco John's when I was pregnant with my first daughter in the early 2000s. I recall one Sunday, after going to church with my husband, he suggested we go out for a nice brunch. I looked at him, all puffy and starving, in my eighth month of pregnancy and said, yeah, well, that sounds really nice, but I really just need some tacos right now. So, bless his heart, we went to Taco John's. It was just before 10.30 a.m., and I might be mistaken, but I believe this was before they started serving breakfast, so I don't think they were open, because I recall my disappointment when I pulled on the door and it was locked. My husband suggested we go elsewhere, I declined in a way that he knew better than to try and reason with me. I think the Taco John's employee must have taken pity on the whale banging on the glass door because they opened a couple of minutes early for me. Or maybe they were just frightened of me. I don't know. Either way, those first tacos of the day were fabulous. What's even more fun is that that same Taco John's later became a favorite stop for my daughter and I after I picked her up from dance class. Obviously, the cravings I had during her pregnancy carried on in her. It appears the closure of some of these Taco John's in the area are related to staffing situations. It's an issue we've seen all over the country since the pandemic, and we've lost a lot of great businesses. And while, for now, we still safely have some of our Taco John's, 
I hope this isn't the beginning of the end for this place that's carried so many of us through so many years. Saying goodbye to yesterday is hard enough, but saying goodbye to a hard shell taco, a soft shell taco, potato olays, and a diet Mountain Dew might just be unbearable. Thanks for listening to Back Then. I hope you'll join me again next time. Get reliable and accurate local news with Inform.com. Inform.com is your trusted local news source with journalists dedicated to keeping you informed about what's happening in your community. Visit Inform.com now.